My name is Medea Benjamin. I'm with the uh, peace group Code Pink and the human rights organization Global Exchange. And we're here this morning to mark the one year of Obama's presidency. Um, we came with the intention of reviewing what has happened over this year uh, from the lens of a progressive community that was charged up, energized, thought this was going to be an exciting year for us and uh, now look with great dismay at what has happened, like the surge in Afghanistan and many things that haven't happened, uh, like focus, a real focus on, on jobs and clean energy. Um, so we're going to do our own review. Uh, this is now coming in the light of the uh, Democrats losing in Massachusetts, and we think this sends a special message to the White House, which is, um, that this is a time that Obama really needs to re-energize the base, uh, that the Democrats are uh, losing sight of what propelled them into office. And the uh, Republicans are taking advantage of the discontent in this nation. And in the meantime, uh, those who put the energy into Obama's campa campaign are feeling frustrated and disappointed. So this now more than ever is a time for Obama, the Democrats, the Congress to listen to what the progressive movement has to say, to understand what will energize our people in the year to come. And I just want to close by saying that I think all of us want this administration to succeed. All of us want to see Obama address these issues that we came here today to discuss. Uh, all of us want the right conclusions to come out of this uh, loss in Massachusetts, which is, please, Obama, re-energize the base. Come back to some of the issues that you talked about during the campaign that gave people so much hope. And even though one of those issues that was not on his agenda was ending the war in Afghanistan, I think it's very clear that this is not a war supported by the majority of people in this country. And with the economic crisis here at home, we need to bring our troops home and invest that money in jobs, in clean energy, and other domestic needs. So thank you once again for, for coming. And let's hope this, that this year marks not only a re-energizing of the White House on these issues, but a re-energizing of our own base, of our own uh, 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 people who care about these issues and that we recognize in the end that it is up to us as citizens to put the pressure on our government to do the right things. Thank you.